I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things video short. Even God's nose could be a gift. That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, share, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, pass it on the faith to the next generation, like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, get our app. It's available on all major platforms. Sharing is caring when it comes to Higher Things content. And donate, a tax-deductible gift to Higher Things keeps us making known the gifts of Christ Jesus to youth and young adults. We need those gifts in these dark times. Give today. All right. Jesus went away from there to, through the district of Tyre and Sidon. It's Gentile territory, Canaanite territory. He's not there accidentally. He's there for a reason. Behold, a Canaanite woman from that region came out crying. Have mercy on me, Lord, son of David. My daughter is severely kakos in a bad way, demonized. So she comes out for her daughter, not for her, for her daughter. This is a Gentile reason, and she is a Canaanite, not a Jew, not part of the family of God, outside the faith. Jews did not associate with Canaanites. They called them dogs, racial slur, probably should have been canceled, but everybody was doing it. So no cancel. Continue on. But he answered her, not a word. And his disciples came to him saying, Apoluson, send her away, for she's crying out after us. I used to think that he was the embarrassed, that she was the embarrassment that she was embarrassing herself, but in actuality, the Lord's the one that's embarrassing. He's the one that having, is having this awkward moment where she's begging and he's not even responding to her. He doesn't even give her the time of day. He doesn't even acknowledge her existence. And it's awkward. And so they reach out and intercede for him. You gotta get rid of this girl or else our poll numbers are gonna go. Because <laughs> this is awkward. He answers, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Now, notice, he answers them. He ignores her. She's not even worth giving a word to. Instead, he answers them. I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. You know what's worse than God ignoring you and giving you no answer? Is God looking at you and saying, not for you. Sorry. His no, his rejection, I'm not for you, you don't measure up, is worse than his ignoring you. So you plead to God and you pray and you, like, God help me, and he doesn't say a thing. And then when he says something, he says, I'm sorry, I'm not for you. I'm sorry. Move along. Swiping right on you is, right is no, right? I don't know. But swiping right on you, that's worse than ignoring you. What does she do? She knelt before him and said, Lord, help me. Again, she uses all the right words, all the right terminologies, everything she's supposed to say, and he ignores her. And then when the apostles intercede for, for him, he tells them, I'm not for her. And now he finally acknowledges her existence by saying, it is not cologne. It is not good to take the bread of the children and give it to their dogs, to throw it to their dogs. He called her a dog. In no universe is this right. This is, again, a racial slur. This is like him dropping the N-word on them. I'm not for you. You're a dog Gentile. I'm for good Jews. I was sent to, to, to the lost sheep of the house of Israel you're not one of the, the, the sheep of Israel. Therefore, ergo, oh, by the way, not for you. Not right to take the children's bread and give it to their dogs. 
And this has been no, 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 the whole time. Ignored her, didn't, talked over her, and now a flat out, no, not for you, your dog. Commentators try to help this out by saying that it was a little dog. Try that on your girlfriend. Well, you cute little dog. After you're removing her fist from parts of your body, you'll realize, you, uh, whoa, baby, it wasn't dog that I was calling you. It was little dog. Isn't that cuter and therefore better? No. Yes, Lord, but even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from their master's table. Yes, fine. Dog, Gentile, dogs get crumbs. And that's the way of faith. What we learn from the Canaanite dog woman is that our, the no's that we receive from God, the non-answers that we get from God, the rejection that we get from God, isn't necessarily a bad thing. It, it empties us of everything that we thought that we could hold up to God and ask for favor because of. It leaves us literally nothing but givable to. And that's the way, the way of faith. She has nothing but his word. Not right, take children bread and throw it to their dogs. Well, you know what? The dogs get the crumbs. Luther says that, she's a, that Jesus is a hunter in search of faith, that he's going to drive this woman, he's going to reject this woman, he's going to push this woman until she's nothing but givable to. She has nothing other than him. And think about this the next time you ask for something and you don't get it. It's not because God doesn't love you. It's because he does love you. He gave up his son for you. And he is working in you faith and trust to hold on to his promises. Woman, great is your faith. Megala is your pistis. Great is your faith. May it be done to you as you will. And her daughter was healed at that very hour. Great faith is not connected to what words you say, what family you're in, or how good of a person you are. Great faith is trusting that Jesus, no matter what, in his nose, in his ignoring you, in his, in all his answers, has to be your savior. You're not going to get out of this, Jesus, until you've saved me. Until you've saved me. That is the Canaanite dog woman's faith who is rejected so that he could be such a God for her. And also, she's rejected for our sake. So that when we're rejected by God, when we feel like God has told us no, when we know that he's got told us no, we can know that that no is for our good to drive us to a deeper grasp of how good he is for us in Christ Jesus. Think about it. I'm Pastor George Barkart, and this has been another Higher Things video short.